Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Today's story, we're going to start off with something great. And the Kikvik movement is kind of moving on, but they've kind of got a new catchphrase, I suppose, is probably the best way to say it, but we'll get to that after. But to start things off brilliantly, the Vic GoFundMe page is currently sat at $149,000. I think that's absolutely amazing, and if you can uh, spare anything, go to it, donate some to it, just so we can give Vic what he needs, which is the help. So, we're going to kick straight into what I just saying about uh, Kick Vic. They got a new cry, and they got a new uh, like stand with us sort of thing. So, this is coming from that umbrella guy, uh, and it reads... So, this is the new Kick Vic Cry, as echoed by Jamie Marshy. Well, Twitter didn't have a problem with what we said, so hey. TOS is law, weird concept, I know, but hey. Jamie seems to be trying to pick up Ron Slack since he went quiet. And what he's on about is that Ron Toye has actually silenced his Twitter account again. It has actually gone uh, quiet, he's put a lock on it, so you need to be a registered uh, follower with him, really, to be able to view it. But, if you look on the thing here, on the uh, photo, we do have Jimmy Marshy below and what it says. I saw that. Fact is, if our tweets were so awful, we would have been suspended by now. And yet, here we are. Tweeting on Twitter, whenever we want. Just tweet, tweet, tweeting, because we can. To be honest with you, I think that's just a bunch of bull, but over the last couple of weeks, Jamie, she's actually been quite quiet, and she's actually been, well, she's actually been okay on Twitter. She's just talking to people as she normally does, but you do get the odd person who asks her a stupid question, and she normally comes back with a stupid answer. And so we're going to go into it now, into Mars Girl, straight away. So... What has currently happened is we have three tweets from her and it's mostly in one massive conversation but this one here is, uh, she starts off with, sure, except for, you know, the ones who accused him of grabbing ass and forcing him onto beds or couches or whatever. And then someone comes back with, Kaylin got destroyed again and she put the face of Justin Timberlake saying this is my destroyed face. With this one here, she is slandering Vic again on Twitter, out publicly as well. So Ty Beard probably uh, has got that tweet. And it wouldn't surprise me if papers are served to Mars Girl or she is contacted and so forth from there onwards. But going through a few of her uh, tweets as well, and quite a few on both sides, the Kick Vic and the I Stand With Vic side, and... There's a lot of hate between each other as well, but there's a lot of stuff going out there which is kind of like, guys, what are you doing? Don't don't go against each other, don't fight each other, you know, it's stupid. And this has dragged on now, I will admit, it's dragged on for a couple of more months than they should have now. But we got this one here, which is... I've made it a strict point to try to avoid liking or sharing things with physical threats even vague ones, as well as avoiding the fuck Vic, as it's one, not necessary, and two, a phrase created by those trying to deplatform others. With that tweet there from her, that just shouts all the way. She is 100% a hypocrite, because her and Renfamous, they've both been trying to deplatform people on all social media fronts and all creator fronts. She's saying there, you know, oh, those trying to deplatform others. Well, she's been trying to get Yellow Flash and a Tug and a few others, trying to get them off Twitter and get them off YouTube. And it's, it is really funny, that one is, because there's another one. Wow, I never once wished a physical violence on anybody, which I will admit there, she hasn't. I will stick up for her there. She hasn't wished physical violence on anybody. And But she has asked for... Uh, people to dox yellow flash or whoever just so she can get more information on those people she has said she hasn't but there was a facebook post that uh, says otherwise but regarding that facebook post she's actually come out and said that she posted that privately 
So one of her friends, or she thought as a friend, has put it out there publicly for everyone to see. So now I think with that as well, she's not going to be posting much on Facebook. Or if she does, it'll be uh, just to a select number of people. But carrying on from that tweet where she said, Wow, I never once wished physical violence on anybody, which she didn't. Uh, someone goes, apparently liking a tweet is the equivalent of soliciting violence to these guys. With that, again, with that guy there, Big McGinty, I agree with him. If someone likes a tweet, it doesn't mean nothing. It's just like, oh, you know, I like tweets that are funny. Some other people don't find them funny. It's like, well, that's it, you know. And I don't think she's actually liked any tweets where she's where that they actually condone physical violence on anyone. Again, I'm not sticking up for her. I'm just agreeing with certain things because of what I've seen myself. And I haven't seen her do any of this. We got, then, the last one is going for Renfamous. And it goes... How convenient that the atrocious behaviour you've seen includes me making fun of an asshole who got suspended for abusive behaviour and not, say, the Vic supporters who spent yesterday telling me they hope I get hit by a car. So, again, with them ones there, people, please, both sides, don't go around condoning violence on people, you know, don't dox people, don't do death threats. Again, I haven't actually physically seen any death threats. But I have seen posts from both sides saying death threats have been sent. If we can see those death threats, throw them my way. You know, send you know, do it, send them in their uh, YouTube email to me or whatever. Or you can DM me on Twitter with them. I'd happily look at them and I'll happily put them into a video. So after Ren said that, she goes, And yet you don't do the same for kick vickers who call for doxing people. Or Mars Girl who wished for physical violence on Vic which is a blatant violation of Twitter Terms of Service, by the way, you're being selective in your judgment. Well, looks like you've been drinking a Kool-Aid. Thanks for playing. That's what that guy said to Greg. Uh, but, Greg, if you are watching this, mate, can you please send that? If you, if you do have that tweet for the physical violence, if you could send that you know, to me, that'd be brilliant. I can look, you know, look it over and see whatever. But hopefully we can get somewhere with it. And we're going to end it today on a little note regarding this. We have the message regarding the Facebook post and it says, Also, that was a private Facebook post made only between friends I thought I could trust. That was not shared with fans at all. Unfortunately, a friend standing in the back took a screenshot and shared it. We're going to leave it by there now, people. So if you are new to the channel, Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and we'll see your lovely faces soon.